and someone asked you specifically, specifically about third, to- third trimester abortions, and you said that it's a decision left up, left up to the mother. So my question is this. I was born September 8, 1989, and I want to know if you think on September 7, 1989, my life had no value. Uh, of course I don't think that, and um, of course I'm glad that you're here. But you you um, referenced my answer in, in Ohio, and it remains the same. Th- this is a decision that neither you, nor I, nor the United States government should be making. That's a decision for the woman to make. Uh, we want her to have the best possible access to care and to a medical provider. And, and I'll tell you the consequence of this, this attack on women's right to choose. And, 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 and I, I listened to you and I, and I heard your question. I'm answering it. Um, and, and the attack on, on Roe versus Wade, which we thought was the settled law of the land. And unless we had any illusion that the achievements that we've made are protected forever or that progress is inevitable, that has been shattered right now. And I want to tell you some of the consequences of this. In my home state of Texas, thanks to these trap laws that uh, make it harder for uh, providers to offer the full spectrum of reproductive care, more than a quarter of our family planning clinics have closed. And it has made us one of the epicenters of this maternal mortality crisis because not only can you not get safe legal access to an abortion, you cannot get access to a cervical cancer screening or a family planning provider or in a state that refused to expand Medicaid, any provider at all. And we are losing the lives of women in our state as a result, um, I I don't question the decisions that that a woman makes. I mean, only she knows um, what she knows, and I want to trust her with that. So I appreciate the question. Thank you.